Props and Locks on Fox 10 is brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook. Make every moment more. Hey, welcome into Props and Locks presented by FanDuel. I'm Sierra Santos. March Madness is well underway. And if you're a slacker like me, you maybe forgot to fill out your bracket. But there's still plenty of turdy bets to be placed. Americans are expected to bet $3.1 billion on the NCAA tournament. Let's welcome in our betting bestie, host of the morning after on Sports Grid, Ben Stevens. And Ben, you're our dance partner for the weekend in this second round. Let's get right into it. Four seeded Providence knocked off South Dakota State on Friday, and the Friars are two and a half point favorite over 12 seed Richmond on what should be a low scoring affair over under 133 points. It is very interesting, yet again, Sierra Santos, to see the Providence Friars get zero respect from any book out there. Only a two and a half point favorite after showing what they can truly do in the big dance. Everybody thinks the Friars are just a lucky team. I call it battle tested basketball. The number is too short. I think Richmond's run ends here in the round of 32. I think the Providence Friars can cover that number because Providence is, hey, just a very good basketball team. It sounds like they can cover with some ease. All right, 11 seed in Michigan took down 16 Colorado State without one of their best players on the floor, but they are a six point underdog to the three seed Tennessee over under 135 and a half. I think it is a very difficult matchup for Michigan, but good news for Jawan Howard's team. During practice on Friday, Devontae Jones was seen at shootaround. He is the point guard that was out of that first round matchup against Colorado State in concussion protocol. But we know what Michigan is going to do. They're going to pound the rock down low. However, you're going up against a Tennessee team that is one of the best defensive teams in the country and beat Longwood by 32 points. I think it's a tough matchup against a very good balls defense. All right, so more games to get to. Number one overall seed, Gonzaga, a big time favorite over Penny Hardaway's Memphis. Minus 11 with the over under set at 155 and a half. Is that too lofty of a spread for you? It might just be if there is any team in this NCAA tournament in the West region early on that can challenge Gonzaga. It might be Memphis. They have the length and the athleticism in their interior, I think, that might be able to keep up with Drew Timmy and Chet Holmgren. I'm not sure the Tigers can win this game outright, but in an 11-point spread, a double-digit spread, I think Memphis might be able to keep it close enough. Pay attention to Jalen Duran, the freshman big man for, Penny's Har for Penny Hardaway's team. He is fantastic on the low block, and DeAndre Williams provides a spark as well. Number one seed Baylor also a favorite over a seeded North Carolina. Not as easy as it seems though. UNC has won seven of their last eight. Nevertheless, Baylor minus five and a half over under 148. North Carolina certainly has the pace and the tempo to keep up with Baylor. In your early morning hours on Saturday before this game gets underway, please pay attention to the health status of LJ Cryer for the Baylor Bears. If he is available, like some guess he might be, that could move the number for this game against the Tar Heels. It does not surprise me to see a big over under UNC has played fast throughout the end of the regular season. All right, Creighton trying to get back into the Sweet 16, but they're going to have to go through, oh, just Kansas to do so. The Jayhawks are a seven and a half point favorite in this one with a very low over under at 139 and a half, Ben. All credit to Greg McDermott for what he has done here in this home stretch of the Big East tournament. Now into the big dance, doing this without his stellar freshman point guard and Ryan Nemhart. But the big man for Creighton seemed to be banged up in that opening round matchup against San Diego State. And although I think Kansas has some deficiencies on the defensive end, I think Ochai Abaji, Christian Brown, and David McCormick are too much for Creighton. I think KU can cover this number. And funny enough, I said that they were a seven and a half point favorite. That that line either changed or I got it wrong because because they're minus 12. So quick correction yeah. on that. Now UCLA eked out a win to advance over Akron. They meet on Saturday in a battle of four and five seeds. The Bruins are a three and a half point favorite over St. Mary's over under 127. Yeah, these lines are moving. I'm not going crazy. These lines always are moving, especially as we get to Saturday and you start to pay even more attention now that the round of 64 has virtually wrapped up. That total is low for a reason. Both St. Mary's and UCLA play at a rather slow tempo. I thought it almost got the best of the Bruins against Akron. If they can push a little bit offensively, that's how I think they cover that three and a half point spread. 
New Mexico State wants to keep writing its Cinderella story. The Aggies have won five straight as an underdog, but can they do it again? Arkansas is the favorite in this one. I was picking against Arkansas in that opening round of 64 matchup against Vermont. Vermont covered as a five point underdog, only losing by four, but I thought Vermont had a good chance of winning outright. But I believe in this Arkansas team that was very profitable throughout the SEC campaign. J.D. Note and Jalen Williams keep it going for the must bus. I think they advance past New Mexico State. All right, more March Madness as we return. We are back after a quick timeout. Welcome back to Props and Locks, brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook. We're back on props and locks and we're staying on the hardwood before we hit the diamond. We're getting a little crazy with our March Madness who you should be putting your money on in the round of 32 and St. Peter's slaying a Goliath. The upset over Kentucky Ben. I knew you already saw that coming though, right? But odds makers, they aren't thinking that the Peacocks will continue that unlikely run. They are a nine point underdog against Murray State. Listen, I don't know if St. Peter's advances to the Sweet 16. I'm not entirely sure what lays ahead for the Peacocks, but what I do know is that St. Peter's has the third best cover percentage in all of college basketball. They have covered in 18 of their last 22 games, including wow. eight straight covers. St. Peter's will cover that nine-point spread. I think Murray State wins, but St. Peter's will cover because Sierra good teams win, great teams cover, and St. Peter's covers one final time this year. So you're flying with the peacocks. Is that what I'm Let hearing? It go. Let it go. Spread <laughs> your feathers out. Express yourself to the fullest of your capabilities. St. Peter's covers as a nine point dog. All right. Well, we're covering spring training because you know it's ramping up. We got to talk a little baseball futures. The best odds to win the World Series after an active week in free agency. Ben, you're going to weigh in. We're back in just a few. Back to Props and Locks, brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook. Thanks for staying up late with us on Props and Locks. And now that spring training games are in full swing and big time free agents are finding their new homes, their new teams, we got to take a look at our futures bets. And that's why we bring in our betting bestie once again, Ben Stevens. And we got to go to the National League first. Can I actually can I'm going to frame that. I'm going to take a screenshot of this. I'm going to frame it and put on my desk forever and ever. Now, the Dodgers, are we surprised, are the favorite to win it all in the NL. But the Mets also have a solid chance, Ben, plus 500. Not too far behind, Padres plus 700. But we got to look at our local team, the Diamondbacks, plus 11,000 to yeah. win the NL pennant. Yeah, that's a pretty big number, <laughs> wouldn't you say? In fact, the second longest number in the National League only ahead of the Pittsburgh Pirates. The Colorado Rockies moving past the D-backs because they signed Chris Bryant, mm -hmm. which didn't really move the market all that much. It makes sense that the Dodgers are the favorites to win the NL pennant. They were before getting Freddie Freeman, and why not add another big bat to that already dangerous lineup that the Dodgers present? But I would keep an eye on those New York Mets because if they get there, the Amazons in that pitching staff at the very least, Max Scherzer, Jacob DeGrom, Chris Bassett now, that could be a valuable ticket by the time we get to October and the postseason. Yeah, if they can all stay healthy, that is going to be a lethal rotation. Now, in the American League pennant, the odds, are we surprised? Astros, plus 480. White Sox, plus 500. Yankees, plus 550. Red Sox, plus 1,000. I really like the White Sox, but that just might be my bias coming out. Oh, you don't say, former person who worked in Chicago. That makes a ton of sense. <laughs> You would go with the White Sox with the second shortest odds. But you'll see there in the American League, four of the five teams out of the AL East all jumbled in there. The Yankees and the Blue Jays, both at plus 550. The Tampa Bay Rays, who have won the AL pennant in the regular season the last couple of years, or at least been the top seed in the AL playoffs, not far behind at plus 650. And the Red Sox at 10 to 1. The American League East is going to be a divisional gauntlet. I like the value on Toronto at plus 550. Okay, and with the addition of Freddie Freeman, no surprise, the Dodgers are stacked and favored to win it all at plus 550. Any other team really quick that you like on here? 
I mean, if you want to go down the board, maybe the Blue Jays. Don't forget about the Braves. If Fernando Tatis comes back, the Padres. I don't know. Probably the Dodgers. <laughs> well, as always, check the FanDuel app for the latest lines. We are back at 1045 next Friday night. Until next week, take it easy, everyone.